All right, so Spider-Man 2 has been causing all kinds of conversation on the internet. People are really interested as to where they think this game is going and this game series and what's going to happen. And so I previously have done my own predictions video uh, on it. So if you want to go back in the channel and watch that, feel free. But I wanted to tackle um, one prediction I continue seeing coming up in comment sections. So if you have not played Spider-Man 2, this is going to be spoiler territory this whole video so just go somewhere else if you don't care about being spoiled welcome here if you've played the game welcome but i want to talk about this spoiler um and and and, and this kind of conversation for the third game and it's something that a lot of people are feeling and i want to dive into why i think it could happen why i think it won't happen um but it's essentially peter's death that that just keeps getting brought up that a lot of people think that come spider-man 3 there is going to be the death of peter parker that we will see him actually die saving the city and so i want to ask the question will they kill him and what are some of the reasons why they might and what are some of the reasons why they might not and so let's dive into this thing so some of the pros as to why i think there's a possibility and why a lot of people think there's a possibility that peter's going to die in insomniac spider-man 3. um the first and most obvious one is the goblin story arc that they've set up so they've set up that um norman osborne in the end credit scene he uh wants to get the goblin serum going which inevitably means that he's going to be the green goblin in the third game and then he also goes to doc ock in prison and it seems like they want to team up that he wants to find out who spider-man is he wants to get revenge on Peter for what happened with Harry and he's going to be kind of driven by this revenge and so what happens in this scene that's kind of telling is that Doc Ock says he's writing something and Norman's kind of like oh what are you writing and Doc Ock says the final chapter now what it could be is that this Spider-Man series is over at this game it could just be like a cool line that's interesting where it says Doc Ock's plan is to kill peter that's the final chapter but what it does mean is that it seems like they're setting up that spider-man 3 will be the final chapter in some sense or form and what if you're logically looking into this makes sense is that they're setting up green goblin and doc ock to kind of form a team to go and exact their revenge on peter and what better revenge would they have than killing him that it seems like they really want to destroy his life and more specifically they want to end spider-man himself and then in addition to that um it seems like they're trying to make make a way for new spider people so we already had a solo miles morales game um but now they've of course introduced silk and with having all of these different spider people showing up it makes sense that peter would begin to have one final hurrah and it would kind of establish them being able to branch off into two different franchises with miles and silk that that's a high possibility i don't know if i fully think that makes sense from like a marketing standpoint where i'm like yeah okay like miles morales right now is a really big popular character but you are taking a massive risk in getting rid of peter to set this up but it could be that they're trying to make room for more spider people that to have three of them running around with three different games would be a lot and it just makes it easy to make spider-man 3 the conclusion to peter's story and then the last kind of thing that i think is in the pro for that is that it feels like somebody's gonna die in spider-man 3 that it really feels like someone huge is gonna die um i think that it probably is Mary Jane that I could see the Green Goblin story that was with Gwen Stacy in the comic books being adapted to Mary Jane, much like it was in the Sam Raimi movie, but it takes a more tragic turn. Um, but with that being said, it could be that Peter's actually the one who dies, that actually he dies like he did in the Ultimate comic books, which like made the way for Miles Morales, um, is that he dies actually fighting the Goblin. And in that comic, he fought the Sinister Six with Goblin leading it. Um, and he essentially dies to save his family and his loved ones. It could be that Goblin and Doc Ock are going after Peter's family and loved ones and the people he cares about. And so Peter actually fights them and in fighting them to stop them from doing this and them trying to exact their revenge on Peter, that he dies, that he sacrifices himself to save his family, to save his friends, and that he will be the one who dies in that game. And now for the cons, for the reasons why I think that this won't happen. And again, I'm kind of on the fence that this is, I could see it going both ways. But the first con is, is the most obvious one. And the one why some of you are like upset in the comments section is the fan backlash. That like it or not, as great as Miles Morales is, Peter Parker is Peter Parker. That's that he is Spider-Man. And to replace him in this way, when it feels like 
we are really getting a great interpretation of this character um, to have him permanently die and have no way of coming back it feels like a loss it feels like a major l it feels like something they wouldn't want to do because people have become so attached to this iteration of peter and love him so much that it feels incredibly risky um to kill him off and it also it yeah it just there's so many there would just be a huge reaction from fans online where some people would love it and some people would hate it i imagine it actually being like joel's death in the last of us that it would be that kind of controversy where half the people would be fine with it and be like it was great for the story and the other half of people would be like it wasn't great for the story at all i can't believe they did this they've ruined one of my favorite video game franchises that that you would have a scenario like that I don't know if Sony wants to have that on their hands again, but you never know. They did it with The Last of Us, they could do it here. Another reason why I think that this won't happen is that Peter is still a bigger cash cow than Miles and especially Silk um, and even Wolverine that Spider-Man is the biggest comic book character and the only person who kind of rivals him for selling stuff is Batman but nobody comes close to Spider-Man and to take out the main Spider-Man from this franchise um, really kind of dumbs it down especially when you're trying to create a universe that to take out the main figure it'd be like killing iron man in before the first avengers movie happens where you have all of these heroes coming together they're about to come out with a wolverine they keep teasing us with more avengers and superheroes out there and ideas they have and to get rid of the person who initiated it would be super disappointing because it means that you won't really see them interact with these characters that they're kind of teasing and and, and that'll be it and i think that he's a big cash cow that he's a big draw um that that he sells video games and that like it or not he is the most popular spider-man that to kill him would be a major blow to sales and it'd be a major blow to this franchise they're building as a whole it doesn't mean that it won't be successful it just means that you took out probably the most major cash cow character from this franchise before you needed to and before you even had to and then the last kind of reason that i don't think this will happen is i think the goblin and doc ock they want to hurt peter um, like they've been hurt, uh, which means that they probably want to kill someone else outside of Peter. It's kind of like the Superman issue where it's like, how do you actually hurt Superman? You don't hurt Superman by like physically fighting him. You hurt him by going after the things he cares about. I think that's going to be Goblin and Doc Ock's motivation that they are actually going to abuse their knowledge of knowing who Peter is to go after Peter, that their goal isn't to kill him, their goal is to make him suffer, that that's actually what they want, is they want to see Peter suffer like they feel they have suffered. Now, again, the way this could lead into Peter actually dying is that they do try to do that and Peter dies stopping it, but I almost imagine that they're gonna actually kill some people, that I really do think that they will probably kill Mary Jane. I think that makes a lot of sense. I think the character has been on her arc and she has kind of at the end of the Spider-Man game hit her conclusion over the past two games. And I think it would make sense for her to die. And for Peter, it feels like he has still more story to tell, that there's a lot more you could go into and that it would make a lot of sense for that to happen and for him to even go through that tragedy. And who knows how long the next game is. He could even have kids with her and like all of that and dealing with that by himself. I think would be incredibly interesting and i think that's more what goblin and doc Ock are looking to do is they want to make peter hurt that they don't want to kill him but they want to make him suffer and so that's one of the reasons why i don't think that they're going to kill peter off but with that being said i want to know what you guys think head down to the comments section down below i really am genuinely torn it feels like in the third game we're going to get a major death and i don't know who it's going to be i actually wouldn't be shocked if it was Peter and if they actually went that route and I think there's a way they could do it that would be done really well even though I'd be really sad that he doesn't exist in this universe anymore but on the other hand I just I don't know if they would do it like what would be the benefit other than shock value that I don't I don't really see a benefit for them it's not going to benefit them financially there's going to be a huge amount of fan backlash um it's yeah i just don't know why you would want to take out the figurehead for this new franchise of marvel games when it feels like it's just started to get going so i don't really know where i land i want to know where you guys land comment in the comment section down below let me know your thoughts let me know if you if my points for the pros and the cons make sense to you let me know why you think they either are going to kill him or aren't going to kill him and let's have that conversation like comment subscribe all that junk and i will see you guys in the next one <laughs>